everybody and welcome. Uh, good to see you, good to have you here, and I hope you are having a good week. If not good, great. If not great, I hope it's at least just okay. Today I'm here to talk to you about understanding and knowing the difference between the voice of your intuition and the voice of trauma slash fear. Because sometimes our traumas make some of the voices in our head a little louder uh, than the voice of our intuition. So why do we care about our intuition? Firstly, our intuition is not really well understood. If you hear people talk about a mother's intuition and different things like that, oftentimes that voice gets dismissed in our patriarchal society um, and you know a lot of the feminine is dismissed in our society so why does our intuition matter why do we want to listen to that voice in the first place oftentimes there's experiences that you have where you just know something's off you don't know why um, maybe you are, you know, in a room with a person and you just know that that person gives you the creeps. They're weird. Something's going on. You don't know what it is, but they just don't sit right with you, right? When you listen to your intuition, you don't have to find out why you feel uneasy around that person. But a lot of times that voice gets turned down so low, especially in our society, especially the way we are raised. Uh, we're raised to ignore that voice a lot of times. And then we find out things the hard way. We find out that, oh, that person is a narcissist. But you knew something was off to begin with. So that is why I personally think intuition is really important because it lets us know things before they're actually a problem, okay? So how do you know it's your intuition? When you have been raised either in a chaotic household or have endured a lot of uh, traumatic experiences and or had emotionally unavailable upbringing with parents and caregivers, a lot of times the voice of your intuition is just tamped down and you can't hear it. And it's even sometimes punished for having that voice, especially as young people and uh, children. So in childhood, you may have been a truth teller. And as you know, kids telling the truth often get punished because some truths people don't want to hear. Right, so this is actually quite traumatic because it's telling you, well, there's this thing I know and there's this thing I'm observing and I'm being told no longer to observe it even if it's true. So all these things are step away from your truth. Your intuition is a part of your core truth, what's true for you. And to be honest, maybe the person you're around that was creepy is just going to be, you know, a jerk to you, but maybe they're not to someone else and someone else's intuition isn't triggered. So it's also a guide to who and what is right for you at this time in your journey. So another thing about how to know the difference between intuition and fear. A lot of times when you're a survivor, the messages of fear and anxiety get turned way up. They get dialed up, okay? And there's this thing that happens in the brain of survivors where things that are generally pretty risky and dangerous, they don't appear as dangerous and things that are, you know, safe, feel really uncomfortable. And sometimes that's just because you're used to being uncomfortable. So feeling safe and calm is actually really disconcerting. You know, it's really uncomfortable. And 
there's a certain amount of retraining your brain and your energy to be okay with feeling calm, to be okay with feeling safe, and to be okay in finding those places and being okay in the discomfort that that brings, okay? So instead of asking, you know, what does the voice of, <coughs> got a cough there, <laughs> what does the voice of intuition sound like? Maybe you ask, actually, what does it feel like? Because a lot of times our intuition is actually a feeling we get. It's a body sensation. And getting in touch with your body sensations is really important for your trauma recovery. So, you know, people will say things like, oh, I just had a gut feeling. A gut feeling it's a body sensation. Your body is sending a message. And there's actually a lot of research about where the emotions and feelings and psychological processings originate from being the gut and the heart. Uh, so when someone tells you to follow your heart, it's probably your, your brain in a way. Um, but I digress. <laughs> so asking yourself what it feels like. So if you are trying to make a decision about something that feels pivotal, maybe even not pivotal, maybe just a basic, should I go out tonight? There is a feeling sense either in your belly, in your heart, you might feel it somewhere else, depending on, you know, everyone's different. But notice, do you feel like there was a drop in your belly? Do you feel like it got constricted all of a sudden or everything got heavy or it got hard to breathe? Well, that's probably your intuition saying, not tonight, bro, <laughs> don't go out. <laughs> Now, if you find that you start to feel calm or light or like you started to breathe a little deeper, that might be a go ahead. That's a green light. Now, if you ask that question and you don't feel anything anywhere, you feel pretty ambivalent, um, that might be a maybe not right now, maybe later maybe at a different time, or maybe it's not the right people, you know, it depends on the question you're asking. And sometimes if you feel nothing, maybe that question isn't as important as you think it is. So this has been your trauma recovery minute. I hope y'all have a wonderful week and good luck on that recovery.